Mm -mm. Fine. I'm gonna leave Magpie this game. I, I feel like I buy them every game, and they are very good tier ones, but... Let's go for some variety. See if we can just find like a load of possums or something. You haven't come back to sap because of the flying fish? I still... No, I had the flying fish. I think I've only had one flying fish game, though. Uh, anyway, I don't care about a lot of this. Let's roll. And instead of, like, combining and double buying, I'm just going to keep rolling, I think. And you know what? Maybe we're going for this achievement. Probably shouldn't, but I think so. If I lost a ribbon to a flying fish, I've just <laughs> installed the game again. I don't know. It is rough. It's just so spammy and, like, easy to get. Just, like, one flying fish with a, uh, what, a wolf? Eh, I'm, I mean, it's, it is a lot of stats, but I don't know if it's actually, like, broken them out. <laughs> Weasel, love it. Very nice thing to get early. I don't think I'm chocolate caking it, though, just for, like, you know, money generation with bad stats on the team. I think I just, like, buy this and then stack them a bit. Oh, there we go. Two more combinations. Let's run it this way. And what I'm doing next turn is like stacking stacking the possum and then keeping the snail frozen. Because I want to get that the turn after next. Yeah, yeah. Throw this here. I can maybe just like start pumping the weasel. The cone snail is an option as well, because I'm probably going to go for that achievement. Yeah, let's like try and keep this around. Let's do that. There's like nothing else I'm looking for at this tier. So I'm just gonna give this a load of stats. No worries. It was actually kinda close, but <laughs> didn't lose HP. Again, all I can ask for. Okay, so we get three combinations. We'll start by combining this. Cuttlefish. I already have the cuttlefish achievement, but I may buy it anyway. Uh, next one, Secretary Bird. I do need this, and it would be interesting to go for. It just doesn't do anything yet. Like, I'd have to buy that and then go for loads of, like, Orca, Slug, Wolf type stuff. But it's a possibility. Probably gonna take that. And then what's the last thing? Antelope. Actually also works with the Secretary Bird, because they're both, like, they're both achievements that I need, and they both benefit from having super spam on the team. So, I don't know. Sell possum, buy these two, because that'll get, like, buffed up by the possum as well. <laughs> this is kind of nice to have for this turn. And then, who knows, freeze avocado for next turn? I only have, like, one tier three at the moment, so lettuce doesn't do too much. Uh, you could go there, though. And yeah, secondary bird is only getting one summon. One three three buff. Which <laughs> isn't, isn't incredible. But it doesn't matter yet, because we already have a decent team. Chagras, hello! Okay, am I double bang? There's really, like, nothing I'm looking for at this tier. I'd take a weasel level up, but... I think it makes more sense to just save all my money for next tier, where I can get, like... Slugs and similar. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Triple avocado. We're gonna start next turn with, like, 20 gold. Assuming this also dies, which I feel like it has to, being my tiny front line. Yeah, okay. We need slugs. All the slugs the game will give me. And then we're getting rid of the cuttlefish and the weasel. Honestly, dart frog kind of works with that as well, but yeah. I just want, like, loads of, loads of slugs, please. No. Uh, yes, because we will be going for that achievement, I think. <laughs> All right. Uh, Crane, actually will kind of work for now, but I don't think I want it, because it's not going to work in the build I'm actually actually going for. I can't tell if I need to, like, buy this. Let me just, like, stack these two for now, roll twice. <laughs> I need to find slugs! I can last him with, like, a wolf or something, but... Who knows, maybe this is a good thing. We still have 5 HP, and next turn I can find an, uh, an orca. What's the... the white whale, beluga. If I get some of those, then I can just make them eat slugs and it's even more efficient. But... Yeah. 
That's, that is an extra step, so I don't know. Come on. Or at least more of these two. <laughs> Take any of it. Slug, there we go. Alright, I'm going to say goodbye to the cuttlefish. I'm going to save some gold with you, I think. Buy that. So now we have, what, three deaths, three deaths. So that is a second trigger for the secretary bird. It is also level two. We're going to get a fair number of trumpets. Not insane. And I should have unfrozen the lettuce. I forgot. And <laughs> the new pack is out. It is. And how much does it cost? Like, $10, I think? I believe so. It was, I think it was the same as the starfish pack. Get the means to get to the ball and immediately lost. Unfreeze these. Uh, yes, we need white whales. Uh, white whales, wolves, white... What? Slugs, chocolates. There's a lot of things we're looking for now. Definitely more of those. No, not you. Like, I'm on the edge of getting rid of that. Nyala doesn't really work either. It does make us stronger, but not in a way that I care about. Let's just keep sending it. Sure. <laughs> I feel dumb trying to, like, make both of these work, because it's not... It's not insane. I should probably just swap that out for, like, a grizzly bear at the end. But for now, it's working. I don't mind just sending it. Yeah, no, that's getting... Kind of scary. Hopefully this will like, be at a similar size, it might be able to trade. And never mind, that is absolutely huge and we don't have anything behind it. Okay, first loss of the run. Uh, buying it anyway. Catfish? No. No, we have no use for catfish. What kind of spider is this? Buy that. Maybe potato you? I can't really afford for this to die, so I don't think that's a terrible idea. There's a wolf, which is nice. Uh, probably going to do that now as well. I'm not sure what to do with the cone snail, though. Because it was a nice idea to keep it at the start. But right now I'm kind of feeling like, what's the point of having it on the team if we're also going for like these two achievements that might be even harder? Or at the very least, we have a better opportunity to get them. And it's a little bit harder to set them up. I think we're still fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, definitely buying that to start. Bird of Paradise, not going to work. I think I'm probably going to sell the Cone Snail, honestly. Just <laughs> sell that, get a wolf in. I could chalk at this, like, we might be able to just win the run like this. I kind of doubt it, but I want to greed anyway. Now, that is something I need to freeze. Uh, oh, never mind. All right, that's just going to be, like, a win. So, yeah. <laughs> Keep that frozen. Uh, definitely happy with where everything is. I'm not going to swap anything out yet. I guess it depends how this fight goes, because I know everything else scales a lot faster than we're improving at the moment. It's like, although we're doing fine right now, I'm kind of scared for the late game. If I, you know, stick with my current strategy. Like, I don't know, this is kind of working. Uh, I'm selling it. I think I sell it and then we need to try and like level a wolf. Or a beluga. They're both options. Gonna keep it frozen. I definitely want to replace one of these with a beluga with a slug inside it. Hmm. Banana's fine, but yeah, I need to find a slug. Okay, we'll freeze that as well. So we basically didn't do anything this turn, we just got an extra bear on the team. Which might not even be an improvement for right now. Because before we were summoning like an extra, you know, an extra 20-20 every fight. <laughs> like, it insta-died, so we didn't get any value. And also, now nah, this doesn't do anything either. Hmm. Alright, so that is necessary. Do I combine now? I really want to buy these. Let's just do this. Alright. Because then I can freeze that and I can try and get it leveled up later. Doesn't matter what it's eating right now, but yeah. Ideally, that has a slug inside it. So we just have to find one of those. 
Thankfully, Bear's pretty safe as well. Kind of. <laughs> okay, that thing has been nerfed, so that's only going to do like uh, six damage on the snipes. And now it's dead, so it doesn't matter. No! No, I lost to a smaller slug. <laughs> Hate it. Right, this is good though. Okay, buy both of those. Uh, I'm going to freeze Pitta Bread, because as much as I want this to have banana, if I don't find another banana, we're going to have to feed it something, and I'm not feeding it a chocolate cake. And there we go, that's way better. So yeah, eat the slug. Team has improved considerably. Uh, send it again. The smallest slug win. I almost want to say that he deserves the victory at that point, though. But we have a lot of summons, so hopefully we can actually get somewhere with this. Although, we're going to be hitting this a lot. That's not <laughs> not insane for us. But the bear is dead. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, we're fine. Alright. I'll win. Three more. Can I level my bear? That would definitely help a lot. Yeah, yeah. So you have this. I could always swap out this slug for another white whale for another summon, but... I don't know. This is for every attack. This is like three guaranteed... Then like 5 guaranteed, 4 guaranteed, 1 guaranteed. I'm just going to do this. I think we're fine. We're fine to wait. Okay. I like the sprite of the tomato better before. I can't even remember what it looked like anymore. Oh no, we don't have so many summons. We're going to lose another one here too. Never mind, they sniped something further back. Oh my god, this team is too good. Damn. That was very close to being a draw. Very, very close, but it was too much. Too much for my poor team. I almost have to do that, like, just to try and protect myself from <laughs> future awfulness. But I don't know, a tomato would definitely help if I do go against a similar team, because then we'd be more likely to be able to kill the backline grizzly if I run against, you know, weird sniper build again. I'm going to do this, I think. And then, yeah, we're just, like, looking for... I don't even know. Chocolate for it? I mean, this is what I said. This is staying here, though. Let's just do that. That's an extra, like, 3-3 three, three for the team. And in all likelihood, I'm going to be dead in the next couple of turns. Opinions on watermelon crocs. What is a watermelon croc? Also, can you stop sniping me, please? You're scaring me. I'm losing, like, too many... Many stats. This thing has to fight everything by itself. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Another death. I was actually surprised to see this one die. Like, I thought we had a pretty good build there. Is Crocs made out of watermelon? Like, literally made out of watermelon? Or is it just like, it looks like watermelon? Either way, hold on. Let me pay out the thing. Did they nerf, nerf bear? Depends when you last played. They haven't nerfed him since he was released. They've nerfed him a couple of times from the test server days, though. He's still good, though. Like, I, I do think he's pretty... Pretty strong. There are just things that count as him now. Like, the, the biggest thing they did to change it was adding Tomato. Because that let any build counter it if they just had a few of those. Because a lot of the time, it wouldn't be very well protected. Because I think Tomato... Uh, sorry, Potato used to do something else. Or maybe it just wasn't as efficient. I'm not actually sure. Alright. Hold on. We have a combination and something you could maybe call a build. Last time was test server day for you. Oh yeah, it's, it's been nerfed a couple of times since then, then, yeah. Like, now it takes... Uh, it's not based on feints or summons. It's based on how many times the other pets on your team fight things. And you need to get, like, five hits in for it to get a trigger. Alright, anyway, we start here. <laughs> Another early Osprey. I think I'm definitely selling Possum, because it's going to buff this, and it's already pretty large. And then, I may risk buy selling that, but I think I sell the Milk silk Moth first. The Milk Moth. Okay, sure. We'll take that. And let's potentially go for this level up as well. I wonder though, maybe I should go for a Doorhead Amp build. I do want to get a PDF win, but I don't think it's very viable. 
Like, it's, it's actually just terrible in the late game. I guess it would also work with the, uh, the Cobra. Or Python, whatever it is. But I've had worse luck with that. This is pretty nice. Prote Potato protected all damage once. Oh, so it was like a, yeah, it was like a coconut, but only for a snipe. It enabled swordfish type pets. <laughs> anyway, see you later, new master. You just made a pack of things you need level three of, filled with little cell pets, and both elephant and blowfish. You need elephant and blowfish? But those are like, my favorite pets. We still always use those. I want more of these. I want a door head ant or a magpie. Door head ant. Good. We're going for it. I'd love to find some poison dart frogs when they come out, and I may try and <laughs> actively use that. Again, the issue is if you're going to pivot off there, then you probably want to just go to the the tier six snake. But I don't know how to scale that with the things I might have at the time. Oh, manta ray. Manta Ray is kind of cool. I could just sell Magpie, maybe. Also, that is a lot of Void Balls. Very nice. I respect it. Let's just sell Magpie. Alright. Sell Magpie, stack everything on here. And I'm buying an Avocado and freezing the other one. Okay, so this, I'm hoping that can just carry me. <laughs> like, I'm really hoping it can, because that thing is going to be huge. It's going to be like an 8.15. Turn 5. Like, that should get me pretty far. Damn. Damn, that was so close. Way too close, and I'm not touching this bulldog. I don't want it. What do I want, though? Weasel would be cool for a money build. Although, I do need both Manta Ray... No, I don't. Well, no, I do need Manta Ray. I need Manta Ray and Macaque. And I have had a, a win on the test server with two Macaques and a Manta Ray. All level three. It was very cool. <laughs> Wouldn't mind another one of those. Uh, okay, you're probably better than the Bulldog at least. So we'll take you for a turn. I'd rather not buy sell that. But if it's one of these two, then fine. No. Okay, another Avocado. Not terrible. Send it again. Oh, and there's a hydrate. Reen, thank you. Or oh, Rene. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll take a draw. Hated that weakness, though. Okay, we're going for it. I'm keeping the Manta Ray. Uh, yeah, just, just stack it for now. I'd love to find a Macaque. I'd also love to, like, level up either of these. I don't want to invest in the Osprey, though. Yeah. <laughs> don't want it. Not interested. Obviously, Slug and Poison Dart Frog, there's synergy there, but I think I'm just going to have that on the team. I don't think I'm actively going to try and use its ability. Maybe freeze that, but yeah, we're still looking. No. No, <laughs> definitely not those. Oh, well, that's sad. All right. Take this then, send it to the next turn. You got pelican and not strawberry, and how is monkey in the pack? What? What's what is this? Like triple boot Oh, I don't want this. I also don't want to have to buy the, <laughs> the avocado. I mean, I probably will, because again, if I'm rolling, I'm only looking for these two and macaques, and I don't know if I'm going to find that, so. Sure, I'll just say do that then. We have the level up. Is it worth doing it this turn for an extra two gold next turn? I think it is. Oh, you know what? I don't mind buy selling that either. So we'll freeze that. And yeah, <laughs> we're not going for more baboons. Okay, we're probably not doing macaque then. We're definitely doing some sort of money build though. Because having a level two manta ray is like pretty solid. Scary fight. Okay, Oyster. Yeah, I would love to find a... Oh god, I almost want to have it on the team. <laughs> Sell Baboon, just have the Oyster, and then I can try and use some sort of... Uh... Well, I guess it'd have to be like Bird of Paradise scaling, but... 
Yeah, it'd be a pretty good four squad. I don't think I do that yet though. I'm just gonna buy sell it for the money. Same with this. It'll be sold again for the end of the end of the round. Do we see? Do we risk? I think we do. Absolutely huge. That is huge. Okay, I <laughs> Are we done? Is this just how I win? What else can I do with this? Because like I don't need the offspring. I could maybe take like a manatee or something just to potentially have something else I could go for the level four. Because at the moment we only have two trophies. I'd much rather buy and sell oysters than try and go for the oyster achievements. Because right now we're going for this, and I wouldn't mind getting the manta ray either. But yeah, this could definitely get replaced. Hmm. I don't want to do the manatee. Let's just let's just run it for now. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, poison dart frog. That's faints. Weasel is gold, and it is something that I need. You know what? Let's just do it. It's not ideal. I'd much rather find like the silver fox thing, but that works. And I've never found this many <laughs> oysters in my life. Okay. If I sell it, then I'll have like five gold. But we need seven more for a trigger. I'm just gonna roll once and end my turn. I think. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to pop this. Might be able to get multiple triggers next turn if I do it this way. No, oh, because I need this. Never mind. Never mind. Losing it. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this on the team. Let's do that. <laughs> oh no. Are we okay? We are not okay. Very, very close, and I do not like losing HP like that. Kalu, hello! How's it going? How's it going? Uh, come on, give me, give me my level up. I need it. I mean, that is a level up. I should also be by selling stoats, maybe, or not yet, because we didn't see tier fives. But it's probably worth it for the money. What do we need? Okay, buy sell one thing, because then we can get another trigger. It's another three three. Oh, and <laughs> easy choice. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to leave that for now. I would like to level it up, but we have much more important things to be looking for next turn. And I have limited gold, so... Until we get that to level 2, I'm going to be basically hard rolling, I think. I hate that. Those trades were awful. Eating soup and garlic bread, how's you? I'm okay. Hope it's good soup. Yeah, yeah, we need to look. Uh, tomato is also very good, because that actually might keep us alive. Also very valuable. And this is like a trigger, so yeah, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, that would have been cool there instead, but... Whatever. These could be worse, but no. Okay. No, come on. Level up. <laughs> level up, please. I'm going to ignore this tomato. I'm going to keep rolling. Okay, now it's level 2, or it will be next turn. We can start looking properly. But hopefully these two will be able to handle whatever's at the back. Like, if we do go against a bear team, I'm hoping they don't have... Yeah, they don't have uh, equipment yet. And we get to kill the flying fish as well. Absolutely no worries. It's okay, soup. It's better yesterday, it's leftover. Ah. What sort of soup was it though? I had I had mushroom soup recently. Also, I didn't level this first. Didn't really make a difference because it was <laughs> it doesn't reset the trigger counter on level up, which is nice. Very good for us. Alright. Uh I don't want any of this. Like bit bread's a maybe, but we don't need that. I sell penguin? It just doesn't seem like it's it. But whatever. Yes. Yes. Okay, please. Just let it go. We have the build. It just needs to survive now. I just need some time to let it scale. It's still fine for now. Okay. Plain old veggie soup. Ah. Okay, we might be okay. <laughs> we may have, like, come out of the other side. Ready to live again. 
Uh, am I approaching the point where I want pith red on these? Like, that doesn't really... Like, the banana thing doesn't really matter. I think I'll take one of these at least. Okay. Uh, we can't get another trigger on that, so I'll combine first. And then, what? No, you just triggered, so I think we just sell and... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I do tomato this again. It's at least an improvement, and I really don't want to die yet. But there we go. We're going to be capping out eventually, and when we do, we can definitely get rid of the Bird of Paradise. I could maybe, like, stop using the Manta Ray at that point, too. But I do want to level it. We just haven't found any more of them since. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Avocado. Yes. Still no. Still no. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, we can get that to trigger this turn as well, so we can just, like, roll a bit. And it's going to be leveled up. Now, is there any reason to combine them before they level up? I don't think so. I also want to buy sell this. I'm not sure what the best strategy here is. Maybe it's, like, buy avocado, roll twice, and then combine. But leave it at level 2 for this turn. Because I can't level it up this turn anyway unless I only buy this. How did you go through all of this pain of level ups? <laughs> I don't know. I just suffer through it. The other thing I could do is just stack them now, buy Cell Octopus, buy the other one, and then combine. But then... Oh, let's just do that. I'm too lazy to work out a, an actual optimal way. Get off my team. I sold you. And you trigger. And I combine, because I still want my Manta Ray to be giving me money every turn. And I'll save this for the start of next turn. Yeah, I mean, we're very big. <laughs> and big does win games. But I do also need more levels on the team, because I'd love to get these achievements as well. And I have not been seeing them around. Okay, this is nice. Do I go for this first? It makes the most sense, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's slightly far further away. Oh, freeze. Glad to see another one of those. It's been a little while. Did you miss the viewer lobbies? No! No, no, the docket just, like, ticked over. We usually start... We're going to be starting after this game. It's a little buggy, so, like, once you go over... Once it reaches the time that I set, it just, like, flips over to the... 24 hours. A draw. I can't tell if that's good. Better than a loss, definitely, but... <laughs> I don't know how this team's going to do at the like, actual end of the game. That would actually be very solid to play once we're done. Yeah, like, everything's going to be maxed out after this. Because at the end of this turn, we're going to trigger this twice more. Because we have 16 gold, and this thing is going to be, um, you know, giving 6-6 six, six to all of these. So everything will be max stats, other than this, which have one less attack. But at the same time, I don't want to keep this frozen for, like... Oh, let's just buy it. Let's buy it. Give it loads of stuff. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no tomato. I'm also going to leave the avocados now. I think we're basically done with this scaling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have that on the team. This is amazing. We start with this. And then I think we're done with the Bird of Paradise. I could just keep it on my team and only use it to scale my Grizzly Bear. But I don't think that's worth it. I think it's worth more just selling it and then having my Manta Ray money for next turn. And then we can, I don't know, fill in some other pets. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the rest. Just stack that. Find a potato for that soon, but honestly, we have three 50-50s. <laughs> that should be enough to get us through. I'm sweating with that one heart in turn 16. So am I. Like, there could easily be other teams that are, like, near full teams of 50-50s. I only have three. I can at least protect you. I want to level this, please. <laughs> Doesn't do as much anymore, but it's still nice. Uh, Faint on the Weasel actually would have been really cool. But way too late to be thinking about that. 
though. There's no reason. It's one attack. Like, this is like a... That's like a penguin. You know, the this pack penguin. But who knows? Maybe it would make a difference. If that runs into a 50-50 and doesn't trade, I'm going to be extremely upset. So, <laughs> maybe I do that. I could also maybe buy sell the stoves just to see if we get a bear, but that's probably not really worth much either. Sure. Oh, dude. <laughs> Loads of oysters. Why not? At some point, I just need to embrace that I'm not going to be using the Manta Ray anymore. You know, and actually run a 5 squad. Because I don't really need to have an empty slots. But I'm still enjoying the money. <laughs> Level 3 Oyster. I thought about it. Should I? Because I need to get this as well. If I'm going for level 3 Oyster, I'm chocolating the Oyster first, because we still have two turns to roll. Kind of. More like one turn, but... Hmm. I don't know if I'd have enough gold for it, really. Because if I buy all of these, that's 12 gold. And assuming I put it all into the Oyster, then I get, like, two gold to roll. And then next turn, I'd have just 10 gold to find three more Oysters. Or two more Oysters. It's a hard achievement. I know, but we're so close to getting the Manta Ray already. Do it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> nah. Nah, I, I can't. I, I need to do them separately. I needed to get my Manta Ray achievements. There's no guarantee I'd find that. Like, what else could we maybe use? You're risking the whole match? I mean, it's not throwing the whole match. Like, it wouldn't make us that much weaker. Because I'm, I'm happy using this slot to try and get another achievement. But it's very unlikely to happen. And we basically have this one already. So, yeah. Like, I could maybe go for a Pterodon. At least it works with a Weasel for <laughs> a turn. I think it makes more sense to maybe just get a, uh, a little Sniper. It might be able to snipe off uh, Potato Shields first. So, I don't know. Roll for that first, maybe. I don't mind more bears. Let's like play another one of these. And avocado. And I'm not going to potato this because I'm probably going to combine next turn. I'm just going to roll. And yeah, I don't I don't see anything worth taking really. I'm going to let that stay there just because it can soak up like four of these things. Four tomatoes. But yeah, we're done with the manta ray. I just want <laughs> just want a decent team now. Pretty safe. If Crane hasn't changed his OP here. Oh no, it'd definitely be good, but... Hey, hold on. <laughs> Can I get this leveled up too? I don't need the achievement, but it'd be kind of cool to see. I did see the stoats. Oh, there we go. Pterodon. Uh, very pointless to play right at the end. Yeah, we get like one roll to find something. Let's see. And <laughs> I don't know. Silver Fox? Unless I just keep them separate. Level 3 team? Nah, I'm keeping these separate. <laughs> I think it is better to run double Grizzly Bear. I'm just going to Pit Bread this guy. I'd love it if they were the other way around and this one was the one with the Pit Bread, but... It's good enough. <laughs> egg? No. There is no world in which I take that egg there. But this is a solid looking team. No egg. Egg is a terrible, like, backline thing to have. Get ready for the snipes. We didn't get to see the snipes! I think. Oh well. We got, like, three achievements. We got the doorhead ant, manta ray, and I'm pretty sure we got the weasel as well. Right? We did. Okay, awesome. That was a pretty late... <laughs> pretty late run.